Hey Aquarius, welcome to your timeless career reading. I just received some very interesting activations from tuning into your energy. I just noticed that, I just noticed why I've been so uncomfortable sitting here. I just figured out that I, like, the desk is the wrong way around and the chair is bad and, like, I don't have this set up very well. <laughs> um, and I, I didn't even, like, notice until, until I thought, like, Aquarius, and then I started to notice how everything is slightly off. And it's not that it's really that big of a problem, it's that it's, like, uncomfortable for me. So, right there, it's like you guys are suddenly understanding something off about your career or your financial situation. It's like you might suddenly understand why your finances aren't how you want them to be. Or you might finally just realize, like, wow, why am I working this job? Or, like, why am I running my business this way? It's like this little bit of, a, like, an epiphany type of moment. <laughs> Nine of Swords first card out. So yeah, you've been uncomfortable, right? You've been uncomfortable and you're just starting to figure out why. The fool. <laughs> yeah, so some of you could easily quit a job with that energy coming out. And the Princess of Swords. So <laughs> this is so funny. Exactly what I just said, right? Exactly what I just said. You've been feeling uncomfortable, you've been feeling anxious, you've been, but you haven't been able to put your finger on it. And then suddenly it all becomes clear, right? This Princess of Swords, this is having a brand new idea. This is suddenly the light turning on and gaining clarity. And so you don't need to worry about the past. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you've been doing something the wrong way. It doesn't matter if you've been making mistakes, right? It doesn't. It truly doesn't. The only thing that matters is how you want to do it moving forward, right? So like to continue using myself as an example, I realized several things that is kind of like off about my setup here. And so I'm going to do it differently the next time, right? I'm still going to upload these videos, even though some of them I think were kind of blurry and some of them the audio was kind of off and I've been sitting kind of in an uncomfortable position recording them, but like whatever, I'm still gonna upload them and people can either watch them or not watch them, whatever. And that's kind of, that's kind of it, right? And next time I do a series of videos like this, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna be able to do it a little bit better. I'm going to iterate on it one step at a time. So that's exactly the same thing with you guys. Um, so with your Aquarius energy, with that mind going, especially if you also have your Mercury in Aquarius or like any other Aquarius placements, like if you have a big emphasis on air energy in your chart or some kind of aspects with Mercury, you could be like really beat yourself up about doing things incorrectly or if you figure out that like, oh, I should have been doing it differently all along, you could really, really easily fall into this nine of swords of beating yourself up about the way you were doing things. Like what, like, how did I allow myself to like charge up my credit card, right? Why did I take out that loan? Why wasn't I saving more money? Why, <laughs> like really beating yourself up. This nine of swords is like you torturing yourself. It's like you're, you're, you're actually your air energy torturing yourself. And this is happening um, largely because of like the influence of Saturn is in Aquarius right now for the time I filmed this and for quite a while afterwards, right? Saturn came through Aquarius and made you see things from a new perspective, forcing you to recognize something you've been doing and forcing you to change. And Aquarius, even though it, Aquarius is so open-minded and so like expansive of an energy, it it's actually like, it's actually fixed air energy, right? It's like, it's figured out the system, it figured out how it wants to be, and then it just stays there. Aquarius doesn't really like to change, right? It likes to be open, but fixedly open. <laughs> fixedly open. It's like some Aquarians I know, like some Aquarian sons, have an incredibly open mind, but they don't like to change their mind. It's like they have an open mind, but only in this one way. <laughs> so like, I think like you might be kind of like that in the way you've been handling your money or in your career. And so this is the time where you fi you're finally like ready for the change. You're ready for change. You're ready for change. So that's so why I said like somebody could easily quit their job <laughs> in this type of situation. You could easily quit your job. Okay, you got two Oracle cards coming up. Time for a nap, <laughs> inflexible. Time for a nap. Somebody could easily quit their job <laughs> or take a holiday, right? Take some time off. Like you're like looking for some rest and relaxation. Some rest and relaxation. Somebody might even need to take like medical leave, right? <sighs> Flexible. What was I just saying about like being fixed, being too fixed in your open-mindedness, being too fixed. This is becoming more flexible, becoming more flexible. So moving forward with your career, there's going to be lessons around gaining flexibility. So if you're used to working like a nine to five, or if you've been trying to gain a nine to five job, right? But it's just like never quite working out for you. And you're like, ugh, 
right? Maybe this is like you might have to work two or three part-time jobs and like piece that together to make one stable income, right? You might get into gig work. You might get into self-employment. This is really like exploring, using your open mind to open your mind up even further. Open your mind to new ways of doing things, right? If you've never done any gig work, try doing gig work. If you've never thought of like weird ways you can make money on the internet, look that up. Look all the weird ways you can make money on the internet. If you've um, always kind of thought you would like to be self-employed, but you don't know how to like do that, I find Aquarius because like I've I know quite a few Aquarians and like Aquarian sons and like they really struggle to like get their shit off the ground. They have so many fantastic ideas, but they like they get stuck up in their head space and they can't bring it down, right? So this is actually going to be about grounding that energy in in like a new way. So if you've often thought about how nice it would be to be self-employed or to have your own business, but it just seems too complicated, this is going to be when you just do it because you're going to do it with flexibility, right? It doesn't have to be all perfect. You don't need to have that five-year business plan. Just start trying things, right? Follow that inspiration and leap before you look, right? And I did mean to say it that way. Leap before you look. Just take the leap. Take the leap of faith. That's the fool energy. Just put yourself out there and start doing it, right? Put yourself out there and start doing it. But it's like, but first you might need a vacation. But first you might need a vacation because the, the, the time for a nap, right? That's like, there, there could be this, man, one of the other signs got the same same kind of message. Maybe it was Virgo. It's hard to remember exactly where you, you might have like a gap of no employment or you might just need to take a holiday so you come back to your job and like really get back at it, right? It's like, there could be this like rest, like before you really jump into this new thing and before you jump into your new flexible way of organizing your career or making money, Make sure you feel rested and rejuvenated first because you want to feel like you can handle this new burst of energy. So just like get all your energy gathered together within yourself before you jump out there into this. And remember just, it's about flexibility, guys. It's about trying new things and being flexible. That's how you will find career success over the next month, right? That's how you're going to get yourself going in the right direction. So this next month is really about having a big reset and then finding a new direction for yourself. A reset and finding a new direction. So that's the end of your messages, Aquarius. Sending you guys so much love and light. I'll talk to you later. Bye.